Yo, yo, what's up everyone, it's Patrick, and welcome back to part 3 of my Assassin's Creed Valhalla series. In the last episode, Eivor, after 17 or 18 long years, he finally managed to get his revenge on the guy who killed his parents. Eivor killed him, they took down his fort, meanwhile the guy's son, Gorm, was still talking a whole lot of trash even after his father was killed then ran away when Eivor confronted him. At this point in the story, Gorm has managed to escape. Anyways, let's continue. Yeah, honestly, there's no specific skill that stands out to me that is, um, that seems to be any good. They, they just all seem to be the same thing, except the, the big ones in the middle, which even those don't seem that good. Oh, I just noticed I have an abilities tab now. Interesting. Abilities are learned through books and knowledge. They're powerful fighting moves that can be used during battle at the cost of adrenaline. Some abilities focus on melee, while others provide range abilities. Up to eight abilities can be assigned at once. Oh, so this is what I'm actually looking for. So it looks like you can only unlock these through those books, though. So you don't spend skill points on them like previous games. Throwing axe, fury, hurl, throwing axes at all enemies in range. Oh, well, it's the only one I have, so. I don't know if everyone have these things that glow on their map. If you don't, I have it because I purchased something from the store uh, before I started the game. So, I have no experience as to what my game or map is supposed to look like without that purchase. So, please bear in mind, Stretch I could be wings. wrong in my assumption right now. And if you are playing the game, do not just blindly follow what I just said. Uh, check your own game first in case anyone is thinking about making the purchase based on what I'm about to say. Anyways, it cost about a thousand Helix credits, which is equivalent to about ten bucks. But I figured it would be helpful since we're so early into the game's release. Uh, there's probably no guides or videos as to what these things are, or where these things are, I mean. And for the sake of content, I was hoping to find something interesting. Uh, so far, do I think it's worth it? Well, we're not that far into the game, so it hasn't shown me that many, but I imagine there will be a lot more as I progress. With that said, if my assumption is correct and the purchase does in fact reveal the locations, I think it's very much worth it, because it seems that finding these is the only way to get new abilities, weapons, and armor. Uh, maybe some stuff can be purchased from a store, like an in-game store by the way, at a blacksmith or something. But I'm sure it's limited, and of course, some quests would probably give you some freebies, but I doubt it's that many. Like, Let's for example, I got the Raven Clan armor set from the first quest I did, but if you notice, Eivor wasn't wearing any armor in the cutscene towards the beginning, where he was tied up and they were about to put him on the boat. It's definitely the gear that they took from him when they kidnapped him, and you were simply just taking it back after completing the quest. And of course, they had to give you some kind of beginner armor set to start with, because as I said, he wasn't wearing any armor in the beginning. So, one last thing real quick, I just looked it up, whether that purchase actually did anything. Once again, I can't confirm this, so please check yourself. So, apparently for anyone who hasn't made the purchase, you'll still have some stuff glowing on your map, but... It won't be as clear as it is on mine. Like, if you look on my screen right now, it's very clearly a book, like, at the top of my screen. Without the purchase, apparently they're just dots. Um, uh, those dots can either be glowing gold, blue, or white, which represent different kinds of things you can get. Uh, but the ones you want for the abilities, weapons, and armor are the gold dots. You won't know exactly what it is, though, until you're within 50-ish meters of it, because gold dots can represent other things, and uh, apparently when you're within 50-ish meters, you have to scan it somehow. I'm not sure how that works, but I'm assuming either by using your raven by pressing the up button, or using Odin Sight by holding down the right analog stick. I'm on PlayStation, by the way. I'm not sure if it's different on Xbox. One last thing I will say about this, though. I found these things even with my purchase to be slightly difficult to find it because it's never where you think it is it's like you get there then the symbol starts sinking into the ground a little because it's usually under you so you have to find some kind of uh, secret underground entrance somewhere and I'm sure there's other crazy scenarios they put us through later on in the game but as I said we're not that far into the game yet the rage of Helheim Helheim, I don't even know how to say that. Enter a fit of rage and slam your enemy to the ground. 
leaving them helpless in the face of a barrage of hits. Alternate quickly between L1 and R1 taps to avoid losing balance. Oh, by the way, I just noticed, if you look on the bottom right of my screen right now, you'll see what the various glowing dots can represent. So the gold ones represent wealth, the blue ones represent mysteries, and the white ones represent artifacts. Like I said, if you want abilities, weapons, armors, things like that, those are the gold dots without the purchases. If you do have the purchases, then books and knowledge will show up as books, and um, the armor and weapons will show up as like some kind of assassin looking guy. But uh, anyways, to continue on with the game, uh, looks like my next objective is up there, oh, but there was a uh, viewpoint a little bit to south, which it, it's kind of out of the way, but I have to get over the mountain or whatever that I'm currently on in order to get to it anyways. Since I'm already within the general area, I think I'm going to go for the viewpoint first, then I'm going to continue with the game.
wonder if I can just jump down from here. Screw it, let's try it. Oh boy, here we go, here we go, where are we going? Am I gonna die? Oh, nope, I hit the water. See, the problem was, I couldn't tell if that was actually water below me. Like, it, it looked like water, but there were other times I played this game and I tried jumping water and it was just not deep at all. So, it was water, but I ended up hitting the ground. Sacrifice! Give me the strength to give to you! <laughs> what is happening on that cliff? What is all this? My life. The fruit of my work. All gathered here. And now, I lack the strength to throw it off this cliff. You carried everything up here, only to throw it all down. The horse did most of it. It is the only way I can send my belongings into the next world. 
My children will not bury it with me. They say they do not want it. But I know they will sell it all once my light burns out. Will you lend me your strength? Throw everything over the cliff. The farther you throw, the better their chance of reaching the next world. Is that how it works? Yeah, this guy's a nut job. But I'll help him to see what Why I get out of it. Why is everything packed in straw? I did not want anything to break. Alright, how do I throw this? That contains a bow given to me by Hafton the Black, after I put an arrow under King Sigtid's left arm. That sounds like quite the shot. contains a silver harpoon head I received from King Ham for pulling Haftan's frozen body out of the ice. They are a generous family. May the gods grant you luck for your efforts. I hope it is good luck. Thank you for your help. You did not have to do this. Kind and courageous people live the best lives. But it can be a difficult path to keep. I have tried to live well. It is enough that the gods know that, even if the name Harek Gand is forgotten in Midgard. So, what will you do now that this task is done? Done? That was to announce my arrival. Now I leave this world. Well, Enjoy this dude is going life. to kill himself. To Asgard! What? Wait! Thank you! He didn't. Eivor didn't see that coming? Like, really?
finally here. Alright, first things first, I'm gonna go after this book of knowledge to see what ability it is. Pigs got loose in the house, and now Seller Keed is gone. It is your turn to dig through the. Oh, I think I understand what just happened. I'm guessing it's in the cellar, which is right here, and one of the pigs ate it. Or ate the key, I mean. So, I gotta kill the pigs to get the key. open it unless the cellar entrance is somewhere else it looks like I could destroy this somehow Hmm, let's go down here. That looks like a pretty steep drop. I think I should go in from the other way. Ah, perfect. Oh, I got it! New ability, Mark of Death. See what it is. Oh, it's a range ability. Hold R2 to mark sighted enemies, release to let a deadly volley of arrows. Pretty basic, but I'll take it. So don't climb up a rock slide. Hey. <laughs> 
Think you can swill with the best? Your clan is a foul stench. But we are strong, Ergie. Yes, strong with stink. Go, Zulin. Step closer, seal face. And say that again. I said you'll... You have just won your heart's desire, Eivor. Yet by the look on your face, you have lost your will to live. Gorm is here with the last of his men. Why does that troll dare show his face? Leave it for another day. We are here under Harald's truce, and Gorm is too weak to try anything bold. Here's a seat stain on his father's trousers. I should wipe him from this world. Not tonight, Eivor. Leave it. Basim, watch over this one and see that he warms himself with drink. I will find my father and escort him to the longhouse. As you wish. Is Hytham well? He will heal, but never fully recover. It is fortunate that you were able to succeed where he failed. My resolve was strong. When you slew Kyotve, did you see a sigil on him? Silver, the size of my palm, bearing the symbol of an ash tree? Take it. Trade it for what you can. I know where Gorm is camped. If you wish to see him without anyone the wiser, there is a trick I can teach you. Already looking for another princess? All right, I'll bite. What do I do? Use your cloak to obscure your face. Blend into the crowd. Divert attention. Hide in plain sight. A gift of knowledge from a man I hardly know. Is this your way of asking me to join your brotherhood? Not at all. So long as men and women fight to secure honor and freedom, their allegiance hardly matters to me. I suppose there's no shame in using deception when honor is at stake. And Gorham is a stain on that honor. Then let's see what can be done to cleanse that stain. Give it a try. A few things you should know before you step into his camp. Walking unseen through hostile territory is an exercise in subtlety. A hood makes you forgettable, dismissed at a distance. Remain far from watchful eyes and you will be invisible to them. Do not draw blade or hammer, for these and other sudden movements can break your disguise. And in case I wasn't clear, you will need to put up your hood for the trick to work. Gorm is there, in the camp ahead. What were you thinking? Drinking mead on an empty stomach? Uh, uh, you have to eat something before drinking that much. How does that go? Feed before meat. I have some raw lamb on the spit. Are you coming? See which one of these guys are actually enemies. Can you use this Odin sight thing? That thing we skewed. They all got their backs turned to me. Let the spear clean through my side. 
evil. You Arga shit. Take up your weapon and follow me beyond these walls. Let Odin's favor land where it may. You dare not break the king's peace here. So fuck you and your god talk. What say you to that? Ah! <laughs> you can beat me, but you will not kill me. Not under Harald's truce. You are all subject to King Harald's truce. Break his peace and you will be cast out of Alrikstad. I will give you no trouble. You were shed into this world without honor, Gorm. And you will leave as a turd dumped into Hell's deepest ditch. Keep crowing, Eivor. You only make yourself an easier target. The old thing will have started. I should find Sigurd. Gorm still lives, Eivor. It pains me to say. He does. Thank you. His day will come. Oh, gods. I hate long speeches. Only when you're not giving them. Many of you knew my father, Halfdan the Black. A great man who achieved great things. They buried Halfdan's leg near our temple. The crops have never grown tall. <laughs> They buried his arse near ours, and we get nothing but a muddy river! I dream of something greater. A vast kingdom of warriors in numbers the world has never seen. United under one king, one rule. Too much blood has been spilled fighting one another. Today, we unify. And turn our blades outward to conquer new lands. And who better to lead us to glory than me? I was blotted before the age of ten, and I led the greatest army Norway has ever seen. But they say a wise king seeks honest counsel, so I ask, who among you rejects this new arrangement? I am not your enemy, King Harald, but I will not be your subject. Tomorrow we sail for greener shores, and so my kingdom is yours. This saddens me, Nobelhjör. And does your wife agree? 
Is she not tired of limping ever westward? My husband and I are as one in this lord. We do not limp together. We fly. I'm sad to lose a woman of your spirit, Yuvina. But I hold no grudge. May the fates grant you good luck. My king! I offer you my axe and my oath, ironclad. Gorm Kurtveson, you dare show your face in this hall. Did not King Styrbjorn and Sigurd rid our lands of your foulness? The Raven Clan dishonored me, great king. They poisoned my father, Kjortve. They made a mockery of his honorable death. Background, you lie! Hold, Eivor. Let it play out. This is a serious charge, Gorm, and a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. Eivor Wolfkist, you are Kjotve's slayer. This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do with him? I would send him to hell as I did his father. Understandable. But a quick death is too good for a Draugr like him. Gorm, I name you Worm and call you Exiled. Leave these lands by the next full moon, or I will feed you to the crows myself. King Harold, may I speak? The floor is yours, King Stebjörn. My people have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. My kingdom is humble, but we have paid for it in blood. Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. All here have buried friends, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. And I, for one, have had my fill of death. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harold brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee to him. What? What in hell's name are you doing, father? Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. Our days of fighting are finished. You said nothing of this to me. Not a word. And I will not yield a title that should be mine by right. Then war will continue. Men will die, villages will burn, you foolish boy. This is our only way towards true peace. You will die a thrall. You'll drink adult cow. Alone and toothless in a bed of straw. Forgive my son. He is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, Stebjörn Jarl. And I thank you for your fealty. It is natural to fear chains, to resist it. But all things change, and all things end. The lessons of Ragnarok are clear. We will speak again soon. That was an ambush, Lord. Did you know of Stupion's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not at my urging. It was his decision alone. Do you dream of a glorious future, Eivor? A warrior like you would be a boon to my clan. I dream of a glorious death, but not at the cost of betraying my family. You intrigue me, Wolfkist. Orphan and sibling, warrior and poet. You are many in one, it seems. You know much about me. I have eyes and ears everywhere, as any effective king must. Would you not be one of my ravens? I'm bound to Sigurd, and he to me. But if fate should cross the threats again... I understand. Yet should your fortunes change, you are welcome in my hall. But let us leave these matters for another time. Tonight we will eat and drink like gods and wake in a kingdom made new. I want to talk about what I took away from that cutscene. If you think back to Eivor's first interaction with King Sturborn, which I might be saying his name wrong, but Stigger's father, Eivor was basically being scolded by the king for not following his orders, and despite Stigger being 
equally as ambitious as Eivor, I guess? He at least knows his place, at least in the king's eyes, making us think Eivor is the more rebellious, more defiant one between the two. But based on that last interaction, it definitely wasn't the case. I guess it just depends on what was more important to each of them as individuals. Eivor wanted to avenge his parents, which of course he got to do. Stigurd wanted the throne, which was his birthright, and of course, as we just saw, that was taken away from him. Stigurd was the one who got really emotional about it, and Eivor kind of just stood in the background and said nothing. Even though it technically does affect him as well, because he would then become a subject of uh, King Harold. The point of what I'm trying to say is, though, I think these two are way more similar than they originally led us to believe. It's Eivor! Open the door! Come in, but keep your voice down. You will alert Harald's men. English will fight back! The wasp will never end! Two days ago, we rid this land of Kyrtve and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today we cower under a cloud of fear. But it need not be like this. We are not the heel-trodden subjects of a boy king. We are the Raven Clan. Our destiny is our own. Did you know about your father's oath to Harold? I did not. And for that, my anger burns hotter than any man's here. But I will not let that drive me into despair. We cannot stay in Norway. Not under Harold's boot. Not without fueling more war. So we push forward, to newer lands. To England. And there make a new home, a kingdom of our own. The sons of Ragnar Lothbrok have been in England eight winters already. Is there any land left for a clan of our size? More than enough, wife. Of the four kingdoms of England, only one is truly pacified. I have no desire to wear Harald's leash. I like this idea. A saga for the ages, I agree. It will take time and resources to ourselves a new home, but the riches taken from Kjotve's raid would suffice. No. That belongs to my father, as a fair compensation. In England, we must start anew. You would start us with nothing? In a land we do not know? Among people who hate us? Kjotve's riches would go some way to easing our passage, Sigurd. I bested him. It is within my rights to claim his goods. Our leaving must not be an assault on my father. It is a time of renewal for us. If we go, we will need all the help we can get. I say we take cut the spoils for our own. I abhor such theft. But if this is what it takes to sway you to my cause, I accept. Styrbjorn will prosper by the generosity of his new king. Kyotwis goods belong to us. To England, then, before the day is out. Pack what you need, but no more than that. And tighten your lips. The last thing we need is the attention of Harald's troops. How much did you hear? Enough. A new path is revealed, and your journey will be challenging. Will you not join us? For my mother's sake, I cannot. But our threats will cross again before the final day. Until then, farewell. Did anyone notice the assassin guy that was standing in the hall with them? And it kind of makes me think, uh, what is he still doing around? Because I thought him and his apprentice came by to, you know, kill that one guy who's now dead. Unless he's still waiting for his um, apprentice to recover, which, even if that was the case, he wouldn't be in the meeting. So, I actually don't think that's it. 
I think I definitely want something, and I'm curious as to what it is. Eivor, the wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. You made quick work of packing. Well done. The dream of new lands is a powerful lure. As is the promise of glory. But the act of leaving so beloved a home, there is a sadness to it. Having doubts? No, not at all. The die is cast. Then let fate guide our journey. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let us tank to the water and leave unbothered while we have the chance. That chance has passed. Look! Fate flies on swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. Sigurd? What is this assembly? What are you planning? An exit, father. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga. In England. Nonsense. Your place is here, son, at my side. There will be other victories soon, other glories. My choice is made, father. Do not hope otherwise. There's nothing for me here. I must go make my name in the world. And you have plundered Fornberg's resources, I see. You leave nothing behind but your honor. You left me no choice. I entered the Alving a prince. I left the son of a Jarl. There are all choices, Sigurd. I will not stand between you and yours, but I do not accept it. <sighs> Seventeen winters ago, I opened my door to you, Eivor. And now, your only thanks is to rob me? I should have left you to the wolves. Sad old elk. Do not carry his words with you to England. He brought this day upon himself. I know. sacks of wool put some muscle into those pools ration your strength dog we have an ocean to cross all right you lazy back route Sigurd what's our course the songs of Ragnar established the settlement near the coast we set sail for that Bragi it's a song to lift our hoof to rouse the gods inspire a mighty fart from Thor to speed us on our way an ocean lies before us, Eivor, and on its far side, a new kingdom awaits. You know England well from your troubles. I spent the season in their kingdom of Mercia, a temperate land, lush and wild. By now, the sons of Ragnar will have claimed its heart. Do we mean to join their army? They will join ours. In time, all of England will know of Raven Clan and the glory we brought to that fractured land. So to England, glory and destiny. To England, to England, for Valhalla. <laughs> <laughs>